Hey guys, can you figure out what we're going to do today? Can you, can you figure it out? Just stop. Okay, so yeah, let's unbox some FabFitFun. Okay, that's what we're doing. It says it in the title, so I think that we should do it. I get my hair done and get it all highlighted and put it back to where it used to be 20 years ago. They just had it up. I think it was like their designer sale that they just ended with. And now they're doing another one. Have you guys noticed? Um, they do one sale right after another. Like one ends, another one begins, another one. Boom, 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 boom. One right after the other. And it used to be like I would check their events calendar and be like, when's the next sale? Oh, not for like another three weeks. Okay, mark it on my calendar that this a sale is coming up because they're tapping into our our psyches. They're like, we know what they want. Let's give the people what they want. But I need to learn self-control. However, a good deal is a good deal. Let's just open it, okay? I'm not here to chit chat. I'm here to open up some boxes, okay? But you guys are all like, oh, Heather, tell it, say something funny, Heather. No, I'm not. We're opening boxes today, guys. I just can't turn on funniness. You just can't be like, oh, okay, I'll be funny. You guys. Oh, I gotta tell you guys something. Where is it? So you guys know, super quick, and then we'll get into this. Super, super, super quick. But anyway, you guys, so down below, I do have a P.O. box. It's fairly new. I just got it a couple weeks ago. And um, one of you guys sent me a card. This, this like made my day. Actually, look, no, let's just say it what it is. This made my week. Maybe a month. Check in with me later and we'll see how long this thing like is still working like up here. I don't want to say like their name <clears throat> or what it says in it because I don't know if they want me to like keep that private or not. But um, that was really cool. And you know who you are and thank you so much. Hey. -o. Let's dig in here. Oh, this one's full. This was a good sale, huh? You've seen that I picked these up. Like that one time they had like a Sorbus sale. Like everything Sorbus, they had it. If you guys ever see this on sale, now the full price, I don't remember what the full price of this, that they're saying that this was, but I think I picked it up for $9. It's totally worth the $9. If it's anything more than like 15, like I wouldn't get it. But for $9, heck yeah. Ooh, and I got bubble wrap. I'm keep, then I'm gonna keep the bubble wrap for when I do my giveaways. For those people that are new, cause I do, I, I got this a rush of like a bunch of new people. Um, I do, I, I, I do giveaways, you guys. Like, and we're getting ready to do another one. Are we doing it in today's video? I don't know. I don't know. Are we? Never know. It's so big. Honestly, when I, just a little recap, when I bought it the first time, I honestly, I thought it was just like a little, like one of those cups you used to get to organize your desk and you'd put your pens in it. Like a little desk organizer. Cause that's what they call it, a divided desk organizer. I didn't know the size of it. And the th when the thing came, I was so bummed I only got one. This would be awesome for like your paint brushes, your colored pencils. Like if you if you're like into crafts and things, putting your 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 scissors in here, you could put so you could use this friggin' thing for so many different things of organizing. So um I keep finding really good uses for it. So when it goes on sale, I'm like, alright. I'll get two more. 
And that's what I did. I got two more. <laughs> I think I'm done now. Oh, I'm not going to get any more. I swear. I swear I'm not. Okay. I swear. I almost didn't get these ones. Uh, they're long organizers. Because I love my clear acrylic ones so much, like, I can't believe I've ever done anything besides the clear ones because you can see like what's in them and I friggin love that so much and it's you know it honestly like what if we learn from this um it doesn't take much to make me happy it really doesn't a clear acrylic storage bin does it for me like up in my attic all of my storage bins that are like blue or green and you can't see what's in them until you like open them. They put me in a bad mood. But the ones that I have transitioned over into clear, I love it. Because you can just go up there and I could just like look at them and I'm like, oh, there it is. I bet it's in that bin. Right? Versus having like three or four of those dark bins that you can't see through and they're stacked up and you're trying to find that bin that's got whatever in it and you got to go through them all sh shift them all around it's the, clear is the way to go guys clear is the way to go I can't believe I ever bought anything else what was I thinking anyway so these are by Sorbus as well they're attached let me get that apart let me just cut it off Okay. These scissors are so freaking awesome. Like the sharpest scissors ever. I love them. I got them on Amazon. If you guys are into I can link them below. I these are awesome. They're like they're they're real heavy, you know, like solid metal like throughout. These are feel really nice. Solid on the bottom. You got your holes all throughout. They stack on top of each other and it's not just like they barely stack on top of each other like just tilting it a little bit like they kind of lock into they don't click into each other but they have um, a decent groove in them where they nestle into each other pretty good before it starts to fall out. So I like that when they're narrow and long then I can just like pull it out like a drawer see what I need and then like push it back in so oh we got a couple of fun things in here <laughs> why would I buy anything not fun that was kind of weird to say hey we got some fun things in here yeah that's why I bought it billion dollar brows beauty sponge you guys know me I love my my makeup sponges um I try to pick them up whenever I see like high-end ones at a discount if it's especially if it's around two three dollars for like one sponge like why wouldn't you? Um, because you guys should be tossing out your beauty sponges. If you can't remember the last time you replaced your makeup sponge, we've got issues. We've got issues. Change your sponge. I'm actually having makeup issues today. Like this eye will not stop tearing. So now like my lash keeps lifting. So if you notice like this slash starting to come up like, oh girl, you're, yeah, I know. I, I know. You're like, no, but it, you're, I know. I got eyeliner in my eyes, so it just is constantly tearing. It's slowing down now where I think I'm, I'm good, but you know what? We're just gonna leave it be, whatever. I swear I have problems. But anyway, the mascara that I got from FabFitFun is Babe Lash Enriching Mascara in Black. Very, very slight curve to it. Um, I like it when mascaras, their wands, do have a slight curve to them. I feel like when you're putting them on, getting into that inner corner just makes it a lot easier versus just having like a super straight one and getting it in there and then you got goop everywhere and all right, well, We'll try it out. We'll see. Kitsch. I'm due to go through all my headbands that I pull my hair back with like a headband. The ones that I picked up from Dollar General or uh, Dollar Tree, I hate them. They're just awful. Hate's a strong word. Maybe I shouldn't use that. I dislike them incredibly. Is that better? Your mother always told you like, hate's a strong word. Don't say hate. All right, I strongly dislike it, deeply. 
So anyway, these are those kitsch ones. I almost didn't get these um, recycled fabric wide headbands, but I friggin' love a wide headband. It just kind of, I think, I feel like they just stay on my head a little bit better when they're a little wider versus like the more narrow ones. And I love it that they have like this little twist. Kitsch is a really good brand anyway, and you really can't go wrong with having two headbands for a few bucks, so. So the Luxie Enchanted Eye Set. Again, I we all know I have makeup brush problems. All right, I'm I'm okay with it. You need to be okay with it too. Here's why. Um, I've said this before. Um, makeup brushes don't expire if you haven't used them. Like once you've used them, then you do need to replace them. Um, you need to actually just based on how often you use them, how well you care for them. You know, there's like a whole thing, but they can range from like just like every two years you need to replace them or it can go up to like five or more. As long as, you know, if you don't use them very often or you take care of them like extremely well and you wash them and dry them properly, like they'll last you longer. Um, but if you don't, then you need to like toss them and like buy new ones um so anytime I see like nice brushes that I know I like the brand um Luxie I do like their brushes I think I've been spoiled with like BoxyCharm and Ipsy and FabFitFun with where you can pick up higher end brushes at such an extreme discount where I kind of feel like a snob when I do see a full full price brush and I'm like I'm not paying that kidding me it's pretty rare well I'll, I'll pay full price for brushes i always look for a good deal discounted like sometimes there's like like literally like usually there's nothing wrong with them like when i went to p louise their website i wanted to try like all their brushes but if you buy them individually it's like oof it really starts to add up but when you look at well what do you got on sale like what are you clearancing out maybe they're making room for a new line then you can buy like one of everything, like a whole bundle that would originally be like $280, but you can have it for like 50 bucks. So I try to look for deals like that because then you can try the brand. You get a bunch of brushes. It's a win-win. You get brushes at a good deal. They get rid of some of their inventory to make room for new inventory. And uh, we're, all, we're, all, we're all happy with it. Man, that's good. Make sure she's not down there. Make sure my cat needs a, a box to play with. I love blankets. Do I have too many blankets? You better believe I do. I sure do. What I actually need to do, and I am going to do it this fall, is go through all of our blankets. I actually have a bunch up in the attic, too, that I put in one of those like shrink wrap, wrap bags that takes it from like this and it sucks all the air out and it makes it like a little pancake. So I need to go through them all and just keep, like make my keep and donate pile. I have tons of the, your typical fuzzy and soft and furry blankets, right? Um, so trying to pick up some that have um, different textures. I saw this one and I'm actually really happy with how it looks. It's like nubby. It's not like flat. And then you got the, the frayed ends. This size is a 50 by 60. So what is that? Four foot by five foot? 100% cotton, spot clean or dry clean. But isn't that just cute? Just a little bit of texture. Tossing it like on the corner of the bed or... I just thought that was really cute. I liked it. And actually my daughter, we have so many blankets too that my daughter that still lives at home, well she's in college, but she you know comes home like in the summer and stuff. Um, she's like, do not buy me another friggin' blanket for Christmas. What are you talking about? She goes, you know darn well what I'm talking about. No more blankets, mom. I don't have a blanket problem. What are you talking about? 
she, the girl has got so many blankets because when I'm shopping and I see a super soft, beautiful, like when you touch them, they're just like, your hand just like slips right up because it's so soft and fuzzy. Well, I can't help to pick one up and wrap it up, put it under the tree for Christmas. Who doesn't want a fuzzy blanket? And then if you open it first, you can like cover up with it while you're opening your, your gifts on Christmas morning. And it's like cold outside, there's snow out there. We have the fireplace going and Christmas music playing. And you got your brand new fuzzy blanket keeping you warm. And she doesn't want it. Fine. I didn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to buy a blanket for you anyway. I can always buy myself a blanket, right? All right, next, next item. I wonder what's in this little one. See, sometimes when I order from sales, it doesn't all come at once. Like sometimes you'll get a couple of items that are trailing behind or I'm not quite understanding like why that is, but it happens. So I'm thinking this little box I don't know what's in this little box, so we'll, 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 we'll see. Ooh, I was wondering where that was. I could have sworn I bought this. It's the Sigma Ivy. There's that other Sigma palette that I got. Remember, what was that called? Anyway, they had that another, I think Ipsy also might have these um, Sigma palettes. So now I have this one as well. It's the Ivy. Um, let's get it out. It looks so pretty, so like fall-like. These colors are friggin' stunning, and I love how they have this on the back. Look at that. They have that on the back, so you can like see all the colors on the front, so in case you don't wanna look at the front, you can look at the back. Look at that center one, that icy blue. Why am I putting it back in the box? Why, why am I sitting here? for two and a half minutes struggling with getting this back in the box and getting this to go back down. I'm keeping it, so why am I putting it back in the box? Yeah, that lash looks stupid. I don't know, it wasn't a, a good makeup day today. Like it was not a good makeup day today. Like complexion was okay, but the eye makeup I'm not happy with. Heather's sad. Um, so we got some lashes. I have these. What are these? The Monroe. Yeah, Monroe. I have these ones. Oh, they're Baddington is the brand, but the style of the lash is called Monroe. Um, I have these though. Um, I really like them. They're very, they're very uh, like silky natural. Like somebody doesn't really know that you're wearing lashes when you're wearing these. The is that UPS? I'll be right back. I had to run. UPS guy was here. I'm out of shape. I had to run all the way downstairs. I have like three packages I had to return. If you got them all labeled and ready to go, they'll just take them when they drop off. Packages, so I wanted to make sure I caught them, and my goodness. Anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. These are great, okay? So it's Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. So I was thinking that it was more of like one of those ones where you put it on, you let it dry, and you peel it off. I like them because they actually like, pull off all of that little peach fuzz. I don't have very much peach fuzz on my face, but I do have some. I mean, everyone has some, I guess. Um, but when I do those peeling ones, it it pulls them, it like rips it right out, and it just, my skin is just so, so smooth after. Love it. But I also have heard some reviews from like dermatologist type people um, that they're saying that it's like, not the greatest for your skin, but then I've heard some saying it's, they're fine, but just don't use them too often. So I use them, but I just don't use them very often. So I actually thought that that's what this was because it said refining peel gel. 
The instructions say to cleanse and then pat dry your face. Apply to the face and rub in a circular motion for one minute. And then rinse clean with warm water. May be used once or twice a week. It's rubbing away like dullness and it helps remove like impurities. That's what it says. So um, that'll be interesting to try. I have used Saturday Skin products before. I've used their, um, like their, you know, their cleansers and their moisturizers and they are very nice. So we'll give that a try. Oh yeah, Jason Wu. I've seen a lot of um, Jason Wu products at FabFitFun and Ipsy and things like that. Uh, we have a creamy eyeshadow stick, Celestial Lust, highly pigmented cream shadow. That's what that Celestial Lust is. And then blush. So let's get them out and take a little peek. Oh, I like the packaging. It's like a, um, it's a matte plastic. It's not that high shine. Just a little different, not too unique, but I like it. Very pretty. I like that. Nice. Let's get this celestial, 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 celestial. <laughs> I know how to say the word, but now I'm like working at it too hard. Celestial, celestial, celestial. Why can't I say it? Celestial. Did I say it? Celestial. I think I'm trying to, I'm like overthinking it. And then the second word is lust. Celestial. Celestial lust. Hey, you guys want to hear a fun t uh, tongue twister? And I want everyone to comment in the comment section a really good tongue twister. But this is like so funny because it's just two words and it's really hard to say. At least for me. But you have the word Irish. And then the next word is wristwatch. So the thing is that you have to say it quickly. You can't just go Irish wristwatch. See, I can say it. Yeah, everyone can say it. I'm not going to edit it out. Like if I mess this up, I'm going to leave it in. Irish wrist wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. That's pretty good. But I also have been practicing. You should have heard me a couple days ago. Oh, good times. And then, so then my daughter reminded me of like a video she saw where I guess people that are Scottish can't say purple burglar alarm. Like they can't say it with their accent. So um, yeah, apparently, like, I don't know, is it just like an American thing? The Irish wristwatch? Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Anyway, I believe I remember now, I bought this before and I thought I had just bought maybe a bad one. This one seems a lot better. I wanna say the other one I got was like super dried out. Like I couldn't really get anything out. So this one I'm able to get something out. This is very beautiful, especially for the friggin' holidays. Like, I'm excited about this. I could put this, like, on top of what I'm already wearing. Or, like, a skinny um, brush, you know? Like, just put it on top of your already eyeliner. Do you guys hear that crunching? That's my daughter's cat. She's up from her nap. Well, I mean, okay, so it's not the straightest line, but whatever, okay. You just do a little silver line. Mimi, you want a little box? Here, Mimi. Here's a little one. Well, then the other Jason Wu item I got was a creamy eyeshadow stick. Oh, this is like very golden. What was I thinking? Golden. But you guys, we got the holidays. You gotta be like festive. Even if you're not going anywhere, just to get in the mood. Start with some makeup. What do we do? Let's do a heart. Holy buckets, that is creamy. I, it's sideways. Whatever. Very blendable, very creamy. It loses its intensity like as you blend it out. 
So, um, like just kind of smearing it around. The beauty crop, um, enriched with jojoba oil and cherry extract. I believe I got this to top in intentionally to toss into the giveaway. I don't need this. Um, but I saw it. I thought it was just so cute. It's a nourishing lipstick. Um, it's a set of three. Um, I will be just tossing that into the giveaway. I just thought it was a really good deal and it's really cute. But I don't need like red lipstick. I, don't, I really don't use red. But So I'm going to toss that in the giveaway for you guys. Let's get this box. Oh, we got some fun stuff in here. So I grabbed this t-shirt. I like their t-shirts. Um, not for the full price value that they say that they're worth, which is kind of up there, but this is just a cream. And every time I forget to put my FabFitFun shirt on before I film my FabFitFun haul, because I have FabFitFun sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff. Um, and I'm like, oh, that'd be fun. I could wear them when I do my unboxings. And I never think of it until afterwards. And then I'm like, why didn't I put it on? One day I'll remember. One day it will happen. But anyway, isn't this cute? Either way, these are like they're they're nice quality t-shirts. When you get them, they don't you don't they don't feel like, are you kidding me? It's actually they're like a really nice quality. I wouldn't think that there's any friggin' polyester in these things. They feel like nice cotton. Yeah, they're 100% cotton. Um, and then to kind of go with that cute friggin' shirt, you can get this cute friggin' hat. Winter is coming. Right? And then it's got the little label of the, the designer, Rebecca Meinkopf. It is pretty and it's like stitched in it's uh it's not a patch it's actually like golden thread that's been threaded to make it look you know like stars so it is nice it's very cute very soft anyway isn't that cute like that a <sighs> couple of earrings which i want to say these these were very inexpensive they're cubit zircornia uh earrings by Kenneth J. Lane, but they are very beautiful, very shiny. Um, really nice big backs on those, jeez. You guys freaking see the backs on these? I have never seen backs like those, so big. And they, you know, that they weren't the, um, the big plastic ones, but wow. Ooh, I like these, very pretty. Honey crisp apples, you guys. I have been, I picked up some honey crisp apples, and I'm gonna be making some, um, some apple crisp. Fucking love it. And then Alice and Olivia. I have a couple of Alice and Olivia items. Um, I want to say I have like a bag. They had a really nice bag that they had on sale once for like five dollars. I couldn't believe it. I want to say it was like five dollars. I was like, what? Oh, fun. Okay, so this is for your desk. How cute. Kind of reminds me of Sephora. And who doesn't like Sephora, right? Maybe you don't like their prices, but you know darn well you like Sephora. Black and white stripes. And then it says, in gold, it says Alice and Olivia. And it's just a bunch of... Paper. Like post-its. Let's try this again, shall we? So their post-its were like the, were they're sticky? <laughs> but I like these. I didn't even realize that when I got them, but these are a lot bigger than like your regular post-its. They're like significantly bigger. And then you've got like really nice um, little ones and you got like these long ones and then you got three like tab ones. And they're just white, like clean white, like how cute, love it. So this is like a really nice, like note taking lined. I don't usually like books like this, but um, if you're traveling, you have to take notes and I love it, it has this. I just love the, the sleekness of this, the simplistic 
ness of it. I loved it. Keeping your place with the little silk ribbon. I just thought this was so cute and I love how it feels. Just very sleek and clean. It had me. Do I need it? No, I have post-its. I have notebooks. But I just saw this and I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was very cute. They suckered me in. Let's get this box open. My goodness. Even though she has the cat, has got several boxes already open, she needs a, a new box. So I had a, she's sitting down by my feet, like looking up at me like, can I have another box, please? I'm actually gonna get a picture of her and then I'll insert it and I'll show you guys. She's cute. I did not order a second blanket. Did I order that? It's starting to come back to me, but I'm thinking it was such a good deal that I got it for like a gift. For someone. Obviously I'm not giving it to my daughter, like she would kill me. But there's other people in the family. It's a really nice blanket, so I'm thinking maybe that's what I did because it was such a good deal and it's such a like nice quality blanket. Um, I love Summer and Rose stuff. I've gotten their sunglasses and some other things. And the quality on their stuff, I've been really happy with. So the fact that it was a blanket, Summer and Rose, good deal. We got one more box. What is in here? Oh! Here's another thing that I picked up. Literally, I got this for you guys. I'm adding it to the giveaway. I just thought it was a really good, um, good deal. It's just like a little gift set and it comes with um, a quad eyeshadow, a mist setting spray, and then a retractable um, brush, like, like a powder brush. And um, I just thought it was so cute. I love the brand. I've gotten this brand before. I wanna say it's the same brand as, yep, the Beauty Crop, and this is also the Beauty Crop. So these are the things I intentionally got for you guys. Um, so I'll just tuck that away into my giveaway box. Okay, so then I recently have picked up Ellen Tracy of these bags. These, um, they're like a, a screen. Me mesh sorry screen why did I say screen but um it was Ellen Tracy ones well then the brand um BB came out with theirs well they didn't come out with it but I'm just saying that Fab Fed Fun had BB's same thing but they're pink and they the edges have like a shimmery pink to them so that's really cute you have three different sizes you have a large medium and small um the large ones are 12 and a half inches by nine inches. The medium is 10 by eight. And then the small one is an eight by five. So um, great sizes for a variety of things, traveling. Um, the First Aid Beauty ingrown hair pads, um, they're all like saturated. You just take one up, wipe the area that you shaved. If you have your armpits, if you struggle with ingrown hairs, even on your legs or any other area that you might have ingrown hairs, um, always wipe the area after you shave with this and it should help. Read the instructions on it. But another Jason Wu item. Is this a lip liner? Shut your face. Is this a nude lip liner? <gasps> but that is a pretty nude color. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that color. I just put it all over my lips. <laughs> that's so pretty. It's cute. I like that color. Oh, that eyelash. This eyelash, I'm telling you, I'm ready to rip it off. Barigio, um, organic cold pressed castor oil. That's how you get stuff to grow, is castor oil. Why? I don't know. So this castor oil, you can use this like on your cuticles, your hairline, your scalp. Put it on a Q-tip for your eyebrows. Put it on a clean mascara one, like those disposable ones that I have all the time. Um, put it on that. Put it on your eyelashes. Castor oil, the stuff is like 
so simple, but do you even need to spend um, a lot of money? Or can you just buy castor oil and just use friggin' castor oil? I feel like, I don't know, because like I'm not a professional, I'm, I'm not like an expert at anything. Um, I just have a lot of Heather knowledge. It's a big responsibility having this knowledge up here, okay? Like, it's huge. I'm thinking, can't you just get castor oil? It's like when you buy aloe vera and you buy it, and I actually have it. I want to say it's like, where is it? I think it's over there, and I'm like trapped over here with all the boxes. But bought this like fancy little 100% pure aloe vera for like $18.99, like this little pump. Or you can go to your pharmacy and get a big jug of it with like a pump top, like 32 ounces of aloe vera for $4.99. Like sometimes I feel like it's just packaged differently just so they can charge you more for it. Or they might add like a, like an oil to it or like a beautiful scent or maybe jojoba oil or something like that. Just like a little, so they can charge you more for it. But if you just look down to what the basic main ingredient is that you're needing and all that other stuff is kind of like fluff and filler um just go buy the basic thing so um so why get this i don't know because i got caught up in the moment of shopping okay and it was like hey i do like the brand it is a great brand um i've tried many of their things and they've got great stuff um but yeah um i'm thinking if that's what this is like Let's see what's in here. Hold on a minute, please. There's one ingredient. It's organic ricinus commonus oil. And then in parentheses, it says castor oil. You know, castor oil. Look into it. Okay, what else do I got? I have a Calm and Replenish Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. Hyaluronic acid with, with hazel. Why did I get eye cream? I seriously buy eye cream? I don't need eye cream. I don't need any of this. <laughs> Do you guys use eye cream? I use eye cream twice a day, every day. I use it under the eyes and then I go up on the sides and then I'll even go like right in here. I'll have some extra dryness and then I hit the tops of my like eyebrows. I don't use eye cream like on my eyelids because I don't want it to like warm up with the warmth of my skin and then it starts to creep into the cracks and then get into my eyes. So I just, I don't do eyelids. I do like the brow bone and up. And then I've even taken my eye cream and I put it around my nostrils because in the winter time I'll get extra dry from like blowing your nose and stuff. And I've just added a little extra moisture there. That's why I use my eye cream for twice a day. Last thing, I wonder what it is. I wonder what the last thing is. What, what am I obsessed with? I'm obsessed with a lot of things, actually. You guys could be here a while trying to figure out what it is. But it's acrylic organizers. <laughs> what? Um, Sorbus nesting storage bins. I had this before from them. This is actually very nice. I've had this this is this is nice i actually like using this for um many different things um i could sit here and talk your ear off on all the different places that i have my acrylic bins but you guys this this one's nice um obviously it's nice that's why i got it it's not like hey you guys this one this is terrible this is absolutely terrible you guys look what i got <laughs> So you get the, the main one, and then you got little ones that fit inside of it. So you got two of this size, two of this size, really nice and deep, whether you want to use the lids or not, whatever. Um, I never have been able to squeeze that and pull it off the lid. I just grab the edges and pull it off. I, I can't, I can't man not maneuver that little, that little opening, can't do it. Then you got this medium size one. Isn't that funny? I opened it and showed you the inside. Like you can't see inside because you can. You can see the out you can see the inside from the outside. But I went like this. I took the lid off. 
Here, look inside. What, what are you looking at? There's nothing in there. Look inside. Anyway, that's it guys. That's what we got for FabFed Fun. Some good stuff. And I honestly, I feel like it's not that a lot. They, they use bigger boxes than what's necessary. So it looked like I was getting a lot more than I actually did. Right. I really appreciate every single one of you that have gone over and had um, supported my mom on Etsy. I really, really appreciate that so much. All I'm really asking is like, can you just go over and follow her? She's trying to get her numbers up. You can also find her on Instagram. She now has an Instagram page for her um, her bead designs. And I'll always have it linked down in the description where it'll have a clickable link to her Etsy page and then to her Instagram page. And you guys can go over there, say hi, like some of her reels. She's learning how to do, um, to make reels on Instagram. Um, and she's trying to get some out there. She's playing with some editing stuff and she's having a lot of fun doing it. So she doesn't have too many people following her on Instagram. Her Instagram is actually really low. So if you guys could go over and let's flood her account and like just, all you gotta do is click follow. That's it on Instagram. It's super easy. Click follow. But that'll be down in the description. You can find that as well. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. As usual, it's always fun. Blah, 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 blah. Hanging out with you guys. You all know that. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate every single one of you. I always enjoy reading all your comments. You guys brighten my day. You make me laugh. You make me smile. And every once in a while, one of y'all says something that gets me over here. And then I get a little teary-eyed. So thanks for that. Sometimes you guys make my mascara run. That's why I have to wear a waterproof mascara. Because of you guys. It's because you care. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta go warm up my coffee. It got cold while sitting here with you guys. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!